All right, what's going on everybody? Curtis here. And in today's video, I'm really, really excited to walk everybody through a really awesome tool by AMZ Scout, and that is the Sales Estimator. So to get to this tool, just head on over to AMZ Scout's website. Uh, up in the top uh, menu bar, you'll see a little button here that says Tools. Just hover over that and select the um, Sales Estimator tool. So what this tool really is all about, it allows you to get a pretty intuitive look or a pretty detailed look at how many units you could expect to sell of a given uh, product uh, in a month snapshot, okay? So why is this important? So if you're trying to stock your Amazon FBA store uh, with winning products that are profitable, and you, you know the idea there is you don't want to go too heavy and stock more products than you actually need to for you know a 30, 60, 90 day period. You know, because there's a couple of reasons. You can take that capital, you can or take that money and you can go and invest it in other product that will then you know sell with the that first product that you're trying to purchase for your store. Uh, by buying less inventory or by buying the proper amount of inventory you're able to actually cut down or reduce the overall amount of storage fees. So let's say, you know, you don't do a, an analysis to see how many units you'd expect to sell in a 90 day period. And you just randomly guess and say 500 units. And in fact, maybe you'll only actually sell through 125 units. So you actually have, you know, about 375 extra units and you have all that money tied up in those 375 extra units that you could have spent elsewhere uh, to grow your Amazon business or help streamline the Amazon business. So to bring all this back down uh, so everybody can follow along here, the idea is to you know, plug in specific data into this tool that I'm about to walk you through and that will tell you how many sales per month you can actually expect to get from a given product. So. All you have to do is look at a product's BSR or sales rank, and you need to know uh, what category that product actually is sitting in, and then you need to know which country you want to sell that product in, okay? So to keep everybody follow following along, I have a product here pulled up on Amazon, and I'm on the product detail page. To find any product's sales rank on Amazon, all you have to do is just scroll to the bottom of the product detail page. So there's a product detail section towards the bottom of the product detail page. And we look right here, it says best sellers rank. Here's our best sellers rank 5,929. And remember I mentioned earlier, you need to know what category that product falls under. So we have all the data points we need right now. <clears throat> we need to remember that it's in the health and household category. That's easy to remember. And we know the best sellers rank is 5,929. So we head back over to our AMZ Scout sales estimator tool. It's already pre-selecting the marketplace. I sell in the United States mainly, a little bit in Canada, but most of the inventory is going uh, to the United States. We want to select our category. So as you can see, there's quite a few. So it's very, very, very important to get it right. And I'll show you why in just a couple of moments here. Health and household, just like we talked about. And the sales rank is 5,929. Right. And you go ahead and click sales. So that's how many units you would expect to sell if you were the only seller on the listing. However, that's not the case most times. Most times, you know, there's two, three, five, ten 10 other sellers. So in that event, let's say that there's nine sellers you wanna join and be the 10th seller. All I would do is take this 3,285, divide it by 10 because there's already nine on the listing. You wanna come in as the 10th seller, therefore, um, you would share the sales with those nine other sellers, given that, you know, all of the other sellers 
are priced within buy box and, and sharing the buy box. But that's a, another whole another video for another time, sharing the buy box and stuff like that. So to recap, you know, we'll say, or we'll, we'll, for this illustration, we'll pretend that all the sellers are priced the same. Everybody's sharing the buy box. So all I do here is take the uh, 10 sellers divided by 3,285. That's about, um, you know, 328 sales per seller. So now I know that in that given month, I wouldn't stock any more than, you know, a month's worth of inventory on this one, uh, you know, plus maybe you know 20% or something for the next uh, two weeks, right? So I'd have about six weeks worth of, uh, six weeks worth of inventory or so. But to recap, regardless, this is a super helpful tool. It's very detailed. Um, if you can see, if we change this by even just, you know, 100 units, it, it changes with it, right? So it's very, very important that you get uh, as close to as possible what the average sales rank is for that product. And you go from there. So the reason why I was saying it's super important that you get the category right just imagine for a second if you accidentally um, selected, let's say, let's say you accidentally selected video games, for example, and the rank was still 5,000. You can see that the rank dramatically, dramatically, uh, or sorry, the category dramatically, dramatically affects the overall sales per month that figure that you're given, right? So it's very, very important that if the product falls on their health and household, you select health and household. You don't actually go and select, you know, home improvement, for example, right? So that's my recap or my uh, overview of the AMZ Scout sales estimator tool. I think it's a super helpful tool. It's free, uh, which is awesome. To get to it, all you gotta do is go over to the AMZ Scout website plug in in your information and away you go. Hope everyone enjoyed this video and I really look forward to putting out the next video. Have a great rest of your day.